Afternoon guys, hope you're well. Same process ever, Max on either side. If you can raise your hands, let us know you to ask a question. We'll set an embargo partway through for 10.30 this evening. Start with Naz, please, be okay. Good afternoon, Pep. It's uh, a crucial period of the season. The next challenge is a trip to Bournemouth. What are you expecting down there? As always, games, difficult one for the way they play. Will be a completely different game that was in the first half here. It was quite similar as it was the second half here when we played a month ago against them. Uh, completely alive, aggressive and well organised, so really good team. <laughs> Can I ask you about Andoni Raiola? Because when he first arrived, results weren't there. He, he kind of struggled results-wise, but he's, prop he's got his imprint on that squad and they're playing really well and that's down to him and his, his coaching team, isn't it? Absolutely. Making an incredible job in, 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 in Spain. And I think there is a Bournemouth before we play against them in the second half when we play against them. Since the second half, he changed completely. I think the players understood what we wanted and they apply really well. They make incredible results, winning 0-3 in Old Trafford and even losing against the Spurs. They played really well. The last game against Newcastle was amazing. He was there all until the last moment, until 100 minutes were there to win the game. Uh, they are so incredible, aggressive, so direct. Uh, uh, yeah, really, really tough, tough game tomorrow. <laughs> and just finally, I want to ask you about Dominic Solanke. You've got forward players here, Erling Haaland's top of the, the Premier League scoring sheet, Mo Salah's second, Dominic Solanke's third. He's going to be a real threat for them, isn't he? Absolutely. He's doing really well, scored a lot of goals in the way they play. Suit perfect for a striker like him. <laughs> um, Liverpool keep winning. We know how big. Marches as a month of all the fixtures for Manchester City. What have you seen within your squad that convinces you that you'll get over the line again? It's tomorrow, Bournemouth. No more than our focus on that. Tomorrow, Bournemouth and next ones. And so don't, when you have a schedule like he, like these ones, and many years of playing every three days with different competition to jump from the Premier League, FA Cup, Champions League, and so on. So. The best way is thinking Bournemouth and the rest will, will come. It do what happen will happen. Um, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has spoken this week since taking charge of Manchester United or, or part ownership. He said he wants to knock City off their perch. Are you worried? It's not about worried. I think I'm pretty sure with uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and, and the other people, United is going to make a step forward. Uh, I had the feeling that they know exactly what they have to do. Appointment, the people is appointment and his experience in the business world and make, you know, the projects better. Uh, but that is normal. It's not just I don't want to get out of where we are. So all the teams want it and we want to be there. So as much as I'm here, we are here. We will try to be there again. Um do you want, because the rivals with City in recent years have been Liverpool and Arsenal, do you want that challenge in the city of Manchester? Do you want the two, would that that be the best scenario? Wouldn't the two top clubs in the country, both in Manchester, going for all the titles? What I want is Man City, my team be there. The rest I don't care. <laughs> we want to be there. So with Ole and uh, Jose Mourinho, was uh, third period were their second. I would say no close like I've been Liverpool in many years, but I've been there and always I expect, always since the right day one, always I expect United being there for the story, tradition, for many things. It, it didn't happen, I don't know the reason why. They know it, I guess, I don't know, but I guess they know it. And, and the same, if it's their own business, it's their business, it's not ours, so what we want is to be there for ourselves. Andy? Yeah, hi Pep. Uh, just following on from that, what Sir Jim Ratcliffe said, how, how flattering is it to hear someone from United saying what he said about Manchester City? It's the truth. But are you, are you proud though to, to as hear something United? As much as teams admit it, they, are, they will be closer to us. If they want to deny it for things that they are not the reality, it's their problems, not our problems. So as much as they admit it, 
Always when I've been below the tips I want to help, always I admire them and said, oh, what do you have to do to be close, to challenge them? This is the real competitive people they want to be. When they want to judge just for the things they will feel comfortable for one day, they will not arrive where we are right now. When we are below, when we're united, we're winning, we are watching them, we are admire them, we want to learn of them. In the period of Sir Alex Ferguson, with all the generation from Roy Keane, David Beckham, Gary Neville, all the big, big players were there, Rio Ferdinand and all the players. I'm pretty sure in City were admired, they want to be there. And now we were there, and now we are there. So that's why, that's why for this type of comments, I had the feeling that they will be back for that gestures. Okay, thank you. And just uh, on this game then, how is Kevin De Bruyne? Uh, good. He's not injured. He's <laughs> better. I don't know <laughs> if it's <laughs> 100%, but uh, yeah, I think we took a good, good decision. Uh, don't take a risk. A part of the result, I know the result will be not good. People will say why Kevin De Bruyne didn't play, but I think we took a decision because he didn't feel he didn't feel comfortable. Just on that, Pep, do you feel that you might have to protect Kevin again this weekend? No, I don't know. Uh, I know because I had training in the f at four. But this week, has he trained fully? Uh, but, but the day after the game, did the training? And yesterday was off. He came, he trained for himself. But today we will assess and we will decide, but I'm pretty sure he will travel. And what about um, Jack Grealish and Jusko Gvardiol? Are they any closer to being involved yeah, this week? I think this week, no, but it's closer. Maybe, so, uh, I don't know exactly. I didn't speak with the doctors, but they are closer, yeah. Maybe the Manchester derby? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if I would know it, I would tell you. I don't know. <laughs> um, and just finally, um, Oscar Bob has obviously got his first Premier League start. He scored in the Premier League, the Champions League as well, breaking into the first team this season. I know the club are looking to extend his contract. Um, what has impressed you specifically about him since he stepped up in that first training session maybe? And, and how has he grown even this season uh, playing with the first team? Well, well everyone wants to see, uh, see him. So... Since day one in the preseason, his speed, his uh, courage, his uh, many, many things has done really well. Last game playing the position, like <laughs> not his natural position in the left winger, more comfortable in central position in the right side, <laughs> but make an effort there against Brentford is so difficult, it ever, no matter the position you play. But, um, but yeah. Uh, we're delighted and hopefully he can stay with us for many, many years.